on it. All right. It looks like a busy morning. They're all popping in like popcorn. Yeah, really. I don't know how that goes. But hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Amazing Skilled Mothers Across the Pond Hangout. My name is Jack. I'm your host extraordinaire for the ASM. Oh, gosh. You know what? I got to do something here. Um, sorry. I don't know if you heard that. Not a word. Okay. Amazing Scale Modelers is a Google Plus and Facebook of Scale Modelers, reaching across all scale modeling genres, mediums, and to encourage friendships from around the world. And today we hope you will find it to be an important source of information about the hobby, hear about something new, and see firsthand the fir uh, scale modeling experience. Joining me today are the usual suspects to help me kill time in doing these things. And if you want to uh, join us uh, in Cant on camera, the live chat is open. So bring your questions, comments, all are welcome today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, suggest, and all that YouTube stuff. Anyway, moving on, uh, I still haven't gotten around to announcing, <laughs> finally, getting an announcing. What is it, May already? And I haven't even done, like, this official announcing of the community builds. Uh, community builds are solely being built from the fact that there are some people that actually watch these things in reruns or live. Uh, <laughs> and our community builds are what? Uh, Navy Nautical, um, a wooden build, which I'm being intimidated by and also a real space. Uh, so uh, those are our community builds for this year. You have until, I guess, the rest of the year to do it. I guess I have the rest of the year to announce it. Maybe I'll announce it on the last week of December, see what happens. That'd be uh, the 48-hour build. Oh, there you go. That could be, hey, that's not a bad idea. Have 48-hour hangouts to build uh, these things. Uh, that's a good idea, Lou. Glad you uh, thought of it, and you can host it. How's that? <laughs> and I'll be there every minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was just talking uh, to the other half about the 48-hour hangout we have on American Thanksgiving weekend on Black Friday and Saturday. Um, hmm. We need to talk about that. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, I got, that's about it. I mean, I got uh, uh, the community builds uh, for this week. So we're going to be showing those off momentarily. And we're going to show uh, and tell about stuff that we have made, done uh, in the past couple of weeks. So let's see. I'm going to go my usual. Because the past couple of shows, if not more, I've been sort of like, you know, winging it because of people coming and going needing to leave early because we're long-winded like I'm being right now. Uh, so we're just going to do the usual, my Google left to right. So starting with the letter B as in Bernie. How are you doing, Bernie? Hi, not so bad, Jack. Um, been busy doing nothing for the last couple of weeks, I have to say. Um, you notice the background has changed. It's not so... I, it, looks like, it looks like you moved. I've moved. In the same room. <laughs> or maybe removed. Yeah, your, your spouse removed you. No, no, actually, my, uh, my son's moving. Because, uh, he's temporarily living with us for a while. So uh, this has become a bedroom now as well. Uh, and he goes to the to build himself a workbench. Oh. A load of timber out in the garage that I'm sawing up at the moment, and uh -huh. it's eventually going to come in here, right behind me, actually. Uh, yeah, well, I got to find somewhere to put that. Not sure where, but it's going to go somewhere. Um, so, other than just flashing a coat of primer across my D7, I've done very little in the way of models, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'll have somewhere to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, sure. I, I, I'm going to be shifting things around here, too, so I, I get what you mean. Yeah. I decided to build a, a, a workbench from scratch rather than sort of adapt a table or anything like that. Um, so I found some plans online and have adapted them and uh, bought the tin, which arrived yesterday. Uh, so it's a weekend of sawing for me. A little bit of one-to-one -one scale building. One to one, one to one. Bruce, Bruce fingers and 
thumbnails and rather than paint over everything, that will make a change. <laughs> uh, I'm just uh, saying hello to the folks on the live chat right now. Uh, so if you want to all kind of jump in there and say hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, George Carwin oh, and Ken oh. from Ken's Model Shop are all there. Uh, Ken, how do you spell that? E N. There you go. I am working on all uh, caffeine molecules right now. <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, so you're you're going to uh, do a customized workbench. I am too. Yeah. Whenever just, we have yeah. a kitchen to do too. Apparently, we're going to be remodeling our kitchen. I was told uh, about four weeks ago, and I'm like, uh, okay, I guess I, I don't know what I'm going to do my desk or my table, my new bench. But what are you doing? Uh, when are you going to do this? Well, um, you just mentioned something about the kitchens there, haven't you? I, I really must finish the one I started seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Why I was getting some strange look when I had all this new timber arrived and the wife suddenly looked very happy. I think she must have thought I was going to be tackling the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. I've always, I've always said if they're going to put you in the doghouse, you better build, it, you know, build the best doghouse you can. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to spend a lot of time in there. Yeah, yeah. If... Uh, if, the, if, if I've got enough money left after paying for the dog, ours, ours has been ill this week, and the vet's bills is something astonishing. Yeah, uh, all right. The burning question, Bernie, is what kind of lighting are you going to put on it? Yeah, now there, I've got that planned. I've got that planned. I've got an LED light. Brilliant. It's absolutely superb. i just got to find a way of wiring the whole room from one single outlet. I it runs off a 9-volt battery. Yeah, I think uh, I think there might be cables all across the place by the time here's, I think. Here's a serious question I'll throw up. When you do that, and, and Jack, when you do your table, how much, uh, what kind of light balance are you going to put up? You're going to put up like some cool and some warm lighting? At the, I've always found it a good balance to have a warm light and a cool light on at the same time so that you don't over, you don't over paint to different color schemes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 my workbench, I've got really, I will have a real cool line to actually mm -hmm. build under. But my spray booth I bought, it's a little portable spray booth. That's going to be over the other side of the room, and that will have its own lighting. I haven't decided what I'd do, but yeah, you're probably right. More of a daylight type light. Daylight, though, a daylight is always best, but if, I find that if you only work under cool lights, you'll have a tendency to paint your models too yellow. Yeah. By time because it'll you want it to look right under that cool light and then when you take it into a natural light you'll see oh my god it's yellow yeah or you take you paint under warm lights and things turn to yeah. not turn out you to be can, blue you can, you can always cheat and buy one of the new uh led bulbs where you can adjust the color that's that's why i'm asking if 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 they're um if you've got any particular lighting package in mind because i'm always looking to improve mine well, I've well, got a lot of uh, LED strip lights right. in the garage, yeah. and they are advertised as being daylight lights, so uh -huh. they should be natural light, I hope. It, it just looks cool when you put it in a bedroom, because a bedroom is normally quite yellowish. So right. it's, a, it's a bit right. bright, but I think it's the right temperature light, pretty certain. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about light, too, and uh, I think for warm light, I'm going to get a giant lava lamp and uh, cool light with a globe that glows, a moon glow. You know? <laughs> you get, you get the, I get the little ball that has the sparks that come out. Oh, God, it's that. Yeah, so. where are you going to hang the disco ball? Awesome, thank you. It is an idea. <laughs> yeah, for the stars, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for starlight. Yeah, um, I, 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 I got. I, I have bought these. Um, uh, well, I, I bought these uh, these bulbs, these LED bulbs. Uh, Home Depot was closing them out, and it's it's a pretty bright, sharp um, light. Uh, I've always liked the halogen type thing. 
because uh, that's as natural as you can get on incandescent. And th this particular bulb is pretty, uh, pretty bright and pretty natural. And, and yeah, I mean, the light that's shining on me right now is a, a soft white LED, and it does have a tendency to be a little yellow. You're right, Lou. I mean, that's that is something to consider. But I'm still going to get my 27 inch of a lava lamp for sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the best light I ever had back in the day was a lamp that had a uh, regular incandescent bulb in the center that you put a warm bulb in, but it had a ring fluorescent around it. Yeah, yeah. And that gave me the best balance of uh, warm and cool at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can buy trick you I learned from with, uh, You can buy those now in LED format. Right. That was a trick I learned from a photographer years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Bernie, I think, um, you know what? We should uh, hire these guys and invite them over and buy a case of beer and pizza, you know? <laughs> I think you're right. They look pretty handy with a soul, don't they? Yeah, they seem to got the good idea. Not after know? the beer, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, well, don't drink and saw. <laughs> no, if you want to keep your fingers. Uh. <laughs> well, we'll give you we'll give you a hand saw so you don't you only cut yourself and not cut things off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I, I can't be trusted. I can I can count to ten the number of times I've hurt myself. <laughs> I can count to eight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just have to use the same hand three times. Uh. <laughs> so yeah i mean i'm thinking of a corner uh, a corner uh workbench because i'm i'm at a long one right now and i'm only using half of it i'm too lazy to scooch over to the other side um yeah, wheels on your chair corner one all i gotta do is spin <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to dr evil chairs <laughs> yeah. maybe even make a u-shaped workbench that's even better yet talk about mm -hmm. lazy well, that's really lazy uh but yeah well yeah i mean i i i figure it this way I, I found myself working on these big projects and then um peppering in the small ones like i i did the 72 scale corsair while paint was drying on the falcon um but yeah, I mean that's 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 the reason why I'm doing it is because I got this nice long bench and I'm not using it and I just got to get one that seems to work and I think a corner one will do best. So yeah, so that's uh, that's it there, uh, Bernie. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks. Okay. Uh, hi, Dave. Hi. How are we all doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I say your name, I laugh too. <laughs> 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 uh you've been doing some really interesting work i, I swear you got to be making furniture yeah kind of yeah <laughs> Had a little thing for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's up yeah, uh, what's going on? a funny a funny thing though i got a letter through the post uh from the council which said that um They've opened a case now on me uh, for antisocial behaviour. Oh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. I think it's a mistake, <laughs> but I have to go down and see them on Monday. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it was noise pollution or something. So maybe the furniture thing might not be such a great idea after all. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't understand because I'll, I'll literally use it for like two minutes and I'm done. So, but anyway, it's got nothing to do with what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm just finished up this little guy now. Yeah, uh, he's cute. Yeah. Who is I, he? I just I just flat coated him now. Batteries not included. Yeah. Yeah. When your case, batteries uh, are included. <laughs> yes, he is at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the general lease finished. Uh, oh, I've ordered the glass for that. That should be here by end of next week, hopefully. And also the HMS Victory as well. That should be done soon. Um, I think the board's going to be ready again next week. Fingers crossed. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm really up to, really. I just thought I'd build this up while I was waiting for the. Um, yeah, glass my, point exactly. yeah, my point exactly. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool there, mister. 
Love that little kit. I, yeah, I like I it. You, it is a kit. You're, you're, you're saying it is a kit. Yeah, it's on golden armor. Ah. So it's the studio scale weems. So he's going to have a piece of mosaic in his mouth like that. Mm. Oh. Uh, do we? <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, it was a fun little build. <laughs> But that's all. That's all I've got going on, really. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I think you've got to really uh, live it up a little bit because Carwin says he's tucked under a blanket today, so he's getting his dose of plastic shenanigans from us. <laughs> I wonder what he means by that. <laughs> like, like he's the like a like model a builder. We're just not. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds like a, that sounds like a 60s rock band, the Plastic Shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I think yeah. it's, brain, it's his brain working again, isn't it? Well, yeah, he's been posting, uh, he's been building something for this guy, Lou. Uh, Bastard. So, yeah, yeah, whoever this Lou guy is. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't even, I don't know. I'm just jealous. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> uh that's that it there dave i mean come on you got you got more uh oh uh, i'm building the fall guy truck <laughs> oh, I, nice. I don't really have... yeah let's go for a oh nice <laughs> yeah so... make us make us seasick and take us on a tour yeah. oh look at that oh, oh my god that, that is so good. yeah hopefully the board will be here no, it needs a bloody dust. It's filthy. <laughs> right. But yeah, uh, and then we've got the uh, old full guy truck here. So, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. coming along nicely. <laughs> and then of course this oh, thing. Geez. That's uh, just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Is that in shot? <laughs> it's so big you can't even get it all in shot, but. Yeah, I love the little brass uh, plaque as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and what else? What else? Yeah, I'm doing my mosaic tiles. The dust. the dust on that turned out better than uh, your other one, actually. <clears throat> you went on the underside and you had it coming off the wheels. Uh, yeah, and right there, and it looks really, and and part of the underside of the General Lee is covered up with that dust. It's actually really, good. it really is. You did well, a good one. Uh, when, you did a good job. When I kept going back to the uh, original scene, and there's just a ton of dust coming off the car. Mm -hmm. So even, all that detail that I did underneath by putting exhaust pipes on, you just can't see any of it now. But <laughs> it's there if you pull it off. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah. Right. It's a really good build. So. Hopefully that will be hanging about too long because I'm running out of space in here. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, right. gonna, yeah, hopefully yeah. once stuff, stuff, that's, sort of stuff starts to turn up, then I can get on with stuff. It's just having to do little things like a little guy just to pass the yeah. time while I'm waiting for something else to come in. So <laughs> right. But yeah, that's pretty much it, Jack. I think. Yeah, um, I can I can certainly relate to that. Uh, waiting for uh, things to arrive. So, mm. uh, yes, uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, is that it, there, Dave? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I went to the uh, dentist uh, a couple days ago. <laughs> the dental hygienist said, "Oh, I'm not digging down too far. I'm I'm being very gentle." <laughs> <laughs> Why does my toe hurt? The only thought that crossed my mind was uh, Steve Martin sucking on laughing gas in a little shop of horrors. <laughs> the image, the image I had. I have to go back today and get a cat. I came after you after your incisors. Yeah, I get to go back and do it all over again today, I suppose. I don't know what a cap entails, but I, I'm thinking it might entail uh, digging around. What does this have to do with scale modeling? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Uh, but certainly, um, but it's your show the, and you're going to talk about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that excuse me from talking about, it. Uh, but you know, this cap is to keep from a, a root canal from happening. So, um, I heard those are pretty nasty anyway. 
I Speaking think. the flip side of nasty, this is actually pretty damn sick. Actually, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is uh, a Buckmore uh, from the Dakotas. I'm not sure if it's, he's north or south. I think he's from North Dakota. Uh, and he's well, he's a pretty big Trekker, Star Trek uh, fan. And he does. Uh, but I thought this particular build, if you found his pictures uh, of this build, this is, I do believe, a 72 scale uh of Corsair, uh, a naval airplane, of course. And he, he's got a number of pictures here. This is the one I posted for the Google Plus uh, community build. It looks better uh, when it's shrunk down a little bit. Uh, but I, I just think this is really cool stuff. And like he, he, like he had the uh, panel line sort of weathered. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't gotten to that level of skill just yet in my painting. I'm just trying to get the paint to lay evenly. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is this is actually really good. And uh, I, I thought I'd make a community cover uh, in recognition of our, uh, what do you call it, naval build. So, so it can go in this direction too, you know. Uh, this belongs on an aircraft carrier, so it works for naval. Uh, this is the Navy after all. Uh, and the other one is this, uh, boy, there's been some car builders over there at the Facebook community. And uh, <laughs> um, who is this? This is, uh, oh, hell, I should have wrote this down. Uh, Brian Kirby and his 57 Del Rio. Nice build. Mm-hmm. This, oh, and I like the way he photographs his build. All his cars are next to this bush and everything, and <laughs> it just gives it some scale and some some real uh, realistic uh, sense to it. Uh, he's uh, He has an interior uh, picture as well, uh, so check it out on Facebook. you got to scroll down maybe about a week to see it. Uh, so this is the uh, Facebook uh, community cover. And I like the I like the shine. It's not like really polished up. It's just this nice semi gloss look to it. I, I like that. So, and that's that. And we move to oh no, continue broadcast. What happened? We're back to you. Ooh. Yeah, but the broadcast just cut, cut out. No, it still, no, it's, it still says live oh, it still here. Says, oh, okay. I thought it. Oh. oh Gary, you have to get Jim in. How are you doing, Jim? Oh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> so, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Uh, I started working on laying out for the, doing an inner the the rough interface for my Adreno board to my thing, so I can check out that the software works. But I got a build up all the interface and that for it so that's you know that uh do, 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 do. let's see what i can shoot like yeah carwin says this car is one to one scale it's just that the plants are huge maybe from the land of giants who knows yeah <laughs> uh, yeah oh, so look at, look at that so he's got the you've got the ship on the stand now yeah yeah, so I've just got to do the. Uh, I've got to do the adrenal board. I got to do it rough on the uh, on my breadboard for the interface and verify everything's working before I uh, mount everything permanently. So that's where I am with that. Not too exciting, I know, but you got to go through these steps. Yeah. The other thing I'm doing this week mostly is I've been involved with one of my other hobbies, and I've got to do a slight little conversion on my bench, especially the upper shelf here, so I can put some electronic hardware up here. <laughs> some test equipment, so... week cancel 
that's pretty much what I've been doing this week. Mm -hmm. Researching. Been researching a lot of stuff on the second hobby and uh, and doing uh, writing software for this thing. The second hobby. Yeah. You're not allowed to have two hobbies. It, uh, does that involve your scooter? No. 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 It's to do with the, on the communications side for a shortwave receiver. It's not a breadboard, Jim. That's a whole bakery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Dirk. Uh, hey, my styring goobers. Yeah, goober. Uh, that's it then, huh? That's it for where I'm up to. Well, it's going to be a more show today. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, George said his modeling is on a back burner now, working on a motorcycle rebuild and other outdoor things right now. So what is it? There's three uh, There's three of us. I didn't know there was so many uh, motorcyclists among hobby, hobby, hobbyists like us. <laughs> I thought we were just like lazy guys. But then again, I haven't rode my bike in three years. So I got to uh -huh. get it done. I gotta gotta come up get, with a lot you got to get out the road. Gotta have some. Yeah, I know. I do. I do. I gotta get an overhaul done on the bike. So it's good for your. It's it's good for your mental state. Yeah, you know, it's really funny you should say that because um, I was having a chocolate chip cookie at work, and they said, "Well, you know, that's not good for you." I says, "Well, it's not for my body. It's for my spirit." <laughs> so you're right. That's what motorcycling. It's not good for your safety, but it's good for your spirit. Yeah, well, I had that yes. ride. Had that ride last Saturday, and I fully enjoyed the the trip. Up oh back. yeah, did you have a did you have a few minutes of good weather? Oh, I had really good weather all the way up and back. All the way, you know what I meant by a few minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was Canadian summer, right? Yeah, the spring has been awful. That's probably what's not. You know, now that the house is gone, I've been thinking of getting that getting that bike into the shop and getting it overhauled. But maybe I can send it over there to George. <laughs> hey, George, if you're working on a bike already, you want another one? I don't know. I don't know if you want to work on a Kawasaki. So, <laughs> anyhow, uh, let's see. How you doing there, uh, Jamie? Hi, hey guys. Well, I've, had a, I've had a busy week. Um, as you know, I've finished the Franklin, so uh, that's done. Um, uh -huh. uh, so I'll, I'll give you a quick show. I brought it up to the shelf. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Love that base. Yeah, I decided to copy what was on the actual instructions. So it, I, I kind of liked it, so I, I did it. And you then. You started to reading the instructions, huh? <laughs> 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 well, I didn't know really do it, and it looked the colors on the base in the instructions look pretty good. So, but it does take a quite a bit of masking up and, and being very, very you know gentle with it. But we've got the remote, it's got Ralph's board in, and if I press the A, we're going. Good job, good job. Um, you know. Ooh, look at that! It even lights up. You even did a good job with that too. Yeah, I've, uh, I've I've boosted my confidence back with the lighting. Um, so yeah, and then if you press the, I think it's the C button, you get these. Uh, the uh, bizards uh, just pulsate. Yeah. yeah. They don't spin. No. Oh, and then you got your thrusters uh, flashing away on the inner side there. Yeah. Wow. Good job. You got your confidence back? I think so. Yeah, it's uh, it's really uh, boosted the confidence on the building and do the lighting. Not so much the building, more the lighting. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm now, I've got everything I need to do the toss again. Third time lucky. A couple of interesting things with it, though. Um, I managed to get... Um, I didn't want the grid so the, the grid line saucer. I wanted the smooth saucer. And there was a guy from America selling off some of his stuff. So he sold me the smooth saucer and the photo edge and the clear bridge. 
which was uh, uh -huh. very rare. But what he also sent me as a bonus, he did some um, 3D printing. And I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use because it's it's not that bad. So I want your opinions on it and uh, a compare. So this is the clear bridge. Um, okay. That's the kit part. And this is the, the 3D printed bridge you sent me. Yeah. 3D printed one to use that one. Say again. There's a reason I'm saying that. What, use this one? Yeah. Yes. You know why? Why? It's diffused. It's diffused. It'll, it'll yeah, yeah, I was thinking that myself. It'll it'll make make the light it. better. Yeah, but it's already frozen. He's got, he's got the details pretty. You can see it. That's a pretty piece uh -huh. of printing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it fits really well into the saucer. So he's made it so it just slides on like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, like a, it's like a plug effect when it goes in. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm thinking of uh, using this one instead of uh, using this one. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what? I would I would use the the kit part as practice. Practice painting that one. Yeah, that go to this real one. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping not just a lot. I'm not. I'm I'm going to do what I did with the last one because it worked really well. I hope. Um, I'm going to put the the mini SMDs that alternate slow pulsing lights, so it looks like all the dashboards are changing colors. Ah. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm going to find that again. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm really contemplating going with this because it's he's done a really good job. Mm -hmm. Really sharp. So uh, it's all in there. So yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I spent all day, well, a couple of three hours yesterday washing all the parts down on the toss. And um, I have a, I have a question. Um, it's it's about. Um, not quite sure how to. I mean, most people say film and that, but. The windows on the toss don't exactly fit. What do you think is the best way to actually make them fit? Because they don't actually, when you slot them in, they fit in, but yeah, they've still got that gap. gap or, or they don't seem to, to meet flush with the outer surface. Yeah. I've yeah. noticed sometimes yeah. you have to, well, they, they'll, they, the part comes in like a bank of windows. I find that I have to cut that into smaller pieces. Yeah. I, I, because I, the, in, the curve doesn't match the inside curve of the kit. Yeah. So if you cut that into smaller pieces, then you're not fighting the curve of the plastic yeah, I mean, part. I've already, mm. I've already started to, I mean, I've taped it up, but I've already started to do the one side to say it fit. Uh -huh. But you're still left. Doesn't matter how you try it, you're still left with a slight. I can see this. I, that doesn't bother me. It, I know it, it's not flush because the model's flush. I mean, the, yeah. the, the prop is flush. But I. If you were thinking, okay, this isn't the model, this is the real Starship Enterprise, those windows probably wouldn't be flush. Yeah, yeah. I like having a little bit of reveal there. It would be like yeah. a frame around them? Yeah, well, I mean, you would imagine, I would imagine, yeah. because yeah. I'm so yeah. Right. yeah. You know, there's some sort of cover that might come over the front of it. Mm. And mm. if you release it, then the window is a little bit inset. Yeah. Mm. I mean, what, I, what I've also done. Uh, what I'm going to do with this build is I'm not being so adventurous. I'm not putting three boards in it. Um, Ralph sent me the uh, 50th anniversary board. And obviously, I've still got the base that I, I was going to use for the other one. Um, so it's just, it'll instead of using a remote to turn it on and off, it'll, it'll work on the button on the base. And then all the sound effects are on the base anyway. Yeah. And the good thing about Ralph's done with the new uh, motors, before you um, had to do the jumper, uh, you, you had to set it to um, whatever speed you wanted. So this time what he's done, he's got, um, it's like a little uh, metal clip that joins on. He set it at a fast speed. And if you want the slower speed, you just snip it. And then that's the slower speed. So you get the two speeds. Which is quite good, really, because then you haven't got to worry about it blowing the engines up or, or the, the circuitry there. So I'm quite pleased about that. So the lighting, hopefully, for the toss should go straight forward. Um, I'm not having any, um, the weapons effect and any of that. I'm just basically doing the 50th kit. 
but uh, all the sound effects will be on the bass anyway. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do the straightforward build with the, third, the 50th edition uh, from Ralph. Um, the thing that uh, got me about... Um, most people, when you, you, you get something like... I've had things from you, Jack, and, you know, you, you post it off as... Um, a personal gift or whatever, but uh, especially it's something you need to watch out for. Um, I had it when I got my kit from Ralph. I had uh, the Franklin and the Toss kit, and I ended up paying like nearly seventy-seven pound to pick it up from the post office, which is ridiculous. So if you are seriously thinking of getting lighting kits from Ralph, you've got to just take the hit on the post because it, the, it just what it is. So if anybody, no, it's not a problem for me. I mean, no, no. Uh, but having having a uh, the postage sent as a friend and having the the postage sent from a business is two different things. And it's kind of like, you know, it's annoying really because you pay the your the tax in America and the postage, and then it gets here, and then we have this excruciating uh, payment to pick it up. So it's just a bit of a, a warning, really. If anybody is going to, you know, get the lighting kit from Ralph, be prepared that you're going to pay a, a hefty um, price to collect it. Yeah, it's something that, the import duty is something like six percent, and then you have to pay the uh, VAT tax yeah, yeah. on the cost of the kit, postage, mm. and the import duty. Yeah, like twenty-one percent. Of, of all yeah. that, right? I mean, it's, so, like, it's like the the guy I brought the source off in America and all those bits. He sent it to me um, basically, you know, as a gift, and I end up paying nothing, and it's it's ridiculous. So it's it's kind of like um, it's it's just swinging around about. But I just wanted to mention it because <clears> it's important. If anybody's going to get the lighting kit from Ralph, that you you are going to get a hefty bill. Pick it up. Yeah, I think it cost it cost me something like a hundred and forty-five pound to get a torpedo effects board from a marquee fighter that I did years and years ago. But yeah, yeah. it's all the handling charges. It all mounts up. Yeah. It's just crazy. <laughs> and it's a tiny thing. It doesn't take that much handling. <laughs> no, it's like a tiny tiny box. <laughs> Eight, eight pounds handling and all, all the handling is the, just the guy turns around from the counter, lifts it off the shelf, <laughs> and hands the counter to you. Oh, 60 quid. <laughs> that kind of money is not handling, it's fondling. Yeah. I just want to say, I just want to also say, doing all that work lifting that pencil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to also say, too, I mean, um, when I applied the, your mask to the Franklin, they were very, very good, especially the uh, the very thin stripes that you do along the in the cells, the red ones. Very, very handy they were, and bang on. Better than painting that tiny line by. Oh God, you know, you you if you're gonna do that by hand, you you really need a steady hand. Oh, okay, okay, the checks in the mail. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, when I come to the base, I had physically had to do that by hand. I couldn't spray it. it, was, it, it yeah, I didn't include anything for the base because I didn't know how many people were going to use that. Yeah, I mean, but um, luckily it uh, it came out all right. But um, it, it was a long. It took me about a week to do the base because mm -hmm. you, you literally are doing it by hand. I just so. did mine as a faux brass. <laughs> And weathered it like a faux brass plaque, so it it uh, it went pretty quickly for me. But I was just because I didn't try to paint in all the detail. Yeah, I mean, it, but I just think it, I, I like the detail that was on there, and it, and it just enhances it. It just it just meant a little bit more time to fill the base in and do it. But it, the, at the end of the day, it 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 shows in when you finish the product because it, it it's mm. worth it. Do well, it, it works for yours particularly because you're not trying to do the weathered beaten up no no, no. I, I i never wanted that um yeah. and i didn't want that brand spanking really silvery look it's got yeah i just wanted that worn look where it's been used but it's not too long out of dry docks right so that's the look i went for and, and i'm quite pleased with it so yeah 
And that's me done, Jack and Foot. Right. Nothing else yeah, left. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you got your confidence back. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a Jamie without confidence is a confidence without Jamie. <laughs> No, it is it is pleasing because I I really felt bad for you whenever you just like you, you look you look very despondent. I mean, you know, it, it, did it was not a lot matter. worse than your goldfish dying. So I, I really <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, having put all that together and the lighting just went off on me, it was it was gutting because I'd worked so hard on the ship. The ship was great. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the ship. It, even without the lighting, it was a great ship. It just I wanted one that lit up. But, you know, I think you were coming off from the high from the refit, too. I mean, you did a phenomenal job uh, on the refit, and you were coming off that high, and you got, you got maybe a little overconfident, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I think so, Jack. I think I, I think I... And then when I started the task and put so many boards in with the remote control board as well, I think I took on too much, and um, some of it got fried. So I'm just doing, like I said to you, this time around... Um, I've got the 50th edition, the spinning motors and all that, but it's all leading just to one board. And then the one board will have two wires coming down the pole connected to the main power. You switch it on, boom, there's your toss working. Right, right. Exactly right. Okay, very good. Uh, so let's uh, go to North Carolina and uh, take a visit over there at Lou's. How you doing, Lou? I'm doing wonderful. If I was any better, I'd be two people. Uh, oh, what was good this week? Uh, Got this tiny little. Uh, let me see. Do the uh, screen share. Tiny. <laughs> I got this tiny thing off of my bench. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, it was taking up the corner of the room a little bit. So. Uh, it was clear of the tar. Yeah. Oh, look at that! He's going to be cutting a hole in the ceiling to fit that Pretty in there. Much. It does take up a bit. There's about an inch or an inch and a half between <laughs> the top of the table and the ceiling. But well, you got to put it on a little stand uh, six inches off the floor now. Yeah, I'm going to put it on some sort of lazy Susan and let it spin. And there's my... Well, how does uh, Susan feel about that? She's lazy. She doesn't care. Does <laughs> oh, <fair laughs> that come with batteries then, Lou? What's that? Does it come with batteries? Uh, no. No batteries. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at that. <coughs> on the side. Ah. Nice. That was a pretty snug set. Does it come like that, Lou? Or did, have you done that? Uh, what the, the clear part comes yeah. with the kit? Yeah. Oh right, yeah. Really good. Mm hmm. Very nice. Mm. Wow! Look at that. And the legs aren't broken on the limb. That's how they. That's how it's stored. Yeah, the leg stayed like that pretty much until they got into lunar yeah. orbit, and then they opened yeah. it. Opened them just before well, it undocking. This, I thought the lemma was a little shy there. That's probably why it's <laughs> <that> looked... <Yeah. laughs> the the dead spider look. Ah, oh, there you go, Boba Fett and then Stormtrooper. <laughs> Gotta give that scale. Yeah, so one seventy second scale. There you go. I was um, gonna get it. Uh, reference, reference photos. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, those are just old construction photos there. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that's an a, idea. That's a big ass kit, though. It yeah. certainly is. Have you, have you ever seen the, the real thing in, in uh, uh, the Kennedy Space Center? Or, uh, oh, I was there is, one of, oh, is one of the engine bells at the Air and Space Museum, but there's that's about as close as I've ever seen to the full size one. I see that's the full size mock up in, in Huntsville, Alabama, right. and kind of odd though because it's the only thing. It, not I should say it's the only thing standing there. It's like standing there with other rockets, and I was actually disappointed to see how small it was. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, but I think if you're in the element of it being on a launch pad and that sort of thing, maybe that would give it a better well, And it's always it's always photographed, you know, from the ground and it's so yeah. massive. Right, 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 right. And and it's just like when you're looking at something in the middle of an open field, it just doesn't look as intimidating as right. opposed to a more enclosed right. area. I've seen the one at Kennedy yeah. and uh mm -hmm. it was quite something to walk around anyway. Yeah. yeah. 
because it was lying yeah. on its side on the yeah. pedestal. Yeah, that's 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 there was one like that there in Huntsville. It was lying, lying on its side. And the space shuttle too, with the external tank and the boosters, uh, they had a mock up one of those. You can walk underneath it. I don't know. It just somehow it felt disappointingly small. I didn't realize that rockets could be. Well, you know, it's sort of like this. When you watch Congress in session, joint session with these speeches and stuff, you think the, you know, like the, uh, it's actually the house that they have it in. The, 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 the camera makes the room look huge. Yeah. Mm. And I had the privilege of stepping in and sitting in that room. And it's actually pretty tiny. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> uh, it's just the camera just makes it so big. And I'm just saying, that when you're seeing it a bit like the old footage being launched and everything and its magnificent power and mm. whatnot it, it just somehow on camera has this b bigger presence than it does actually in person is my point I, I i thought it would be like even bigger than it was but well yeah it's big but but i just but thought then, it would be but bigger. then you go to the air and space museum and you see that actual shuttle and that sucker is yeah. huge yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, because it's in an enclosed space. Right. That's why. But if it's like this one in Huntsville is in the out outdoors, then mm. oh well. <laughs> it was, it was a mock-up. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, one of the shuttles. It was an act, just a mock-up. Maybe that's where anyway. the one Kennedy sort of ones out. It's all enclosed. Uh, you even have the like, full-size lunar module hanging from the ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Follow the one of the, the original command module sitting, and you're you're looking at the command module, and you're looking back at this 360 feet of rocket behind you, and you're thinking that's all they got back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that part's all. Awesome. I did get to see a shuttle on the pad one year I was down there, mm. so which I thought was pretty good. It was about a week before the launch, but uh, yeah. I thought mm. that was interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's a very cool build there, back, Mr. Lou. Back to me now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I also had time to get this guy finished this week. So. Oh, the Hawk. Ah, yes. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this month's uh, a YouTube installment of round two for you uh, showed that off. It's a smaller scale than the one eagle i think yeah it's this is i think this is actually a 70 second scale as well but it's uh it's uh smaller than their last eagle it's actually about uh give me a give me a second this was the original this was the original npc hawk and it's about the same size it's a little bit taller but the uh, detail is so much better and crisper and finer and all that that it looks like a bigger kit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hold it up where the camera is. But that was a quick build. Mm -hmm. Well, George says, says uh, that your Saturn V turned out great. Uh, and the Carwin uh, said the Red Dwarf build. Uh, uh, there was a, a pictures of the Red Dwarf uh, posted last night. Coming together, hopefully, won't be too long before it's actually done. So sweet, sweet. That yeah. uh, that Saturn V, I fell in love with it, but I, it's a love hate thing. <laughs> I, I I really like it, but I hate the fact that they skimped out on some so much of the detail on that thing. They could have done such a, such a better job. And it probably wouldn't have cost them anything more. They just needed to have better. I mean, in plastic, it wouldn't have cost them any more. In tools, it wouldn't have cost them any more. But if they had designed it better, it would have come out a lot better. Yeah. You know, there was just a lot of forgotten detail that if they had just included it, it would have, been, it's like 90% there. It's that last 10% that you're really missing, though. Yeah. You got to love Dragon. Uh, constant scale uh, spacecraft mm. like the uh, dear, dear old monogram brought out a, a nice 48 scale lunar module 
and then they brought out a 32 scale command and service module so you couldn't actually dock the two of them together <laughs> Well, the more the more I look at this Hawk thing, they're talking about things that make sense or don't make sense. It's got no landing gear. Mm. Uh, it's got no door to get into it. Uh, I don't know how. I mean, you, it, you can't land. It's got this delicate piping on its belly, so if you did try to land it, it would scrape off as it fell. Um, it looks good flying, but that's about it. <laughs> Well, maybe that's the point. It's like, I okay, but how do the pilots that. get in and out? I always imagine they live around they them, them and they're there for life. They, they build the ship around them. They built the ship around them and then they're, then they're there conscripted for life. That's right. It is. That's what it is. Yep. And Jack, I'm pulling out the, uh, the kits for next week and it looks like it's going to be Dragula. 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 And, for one, and for one reason alone, and that is because I learned how to strip chrome. <laughs> this thing is nothing but chrome and this gold flake paint. Uh, uh, it's it's actually uh I got a little there's a little card in here that says, Congratulations, you have a kit car. And one in twelve it, it says the cats at AMT certify that this metallic gold Dragula model is a genuine Kit Kat. Only one in 12 Dragula kits are molded in this special color for added collector value and impossibility to build. <laughs> because it's gold flake, uh, stupid chrome plating on it. And you can't build it that way. So I'm going to all the parts that color, but I'm stripping the whole thing down. Yeah. <laughs> they made the tires gold for God's sake. Uh, it took me uh, it took me forever to figure out these were the tires and they're done in gold metallic. Oh my. Oh god. Well, I can safely say that was not the kit I had in mind for you to build when it came to a car kit. Yeah, look at all that. That's all gonna be stripped down. Yeah, and then and paint it with what? Oh, I'll paint them with metallics over top of it, but they, it just looks so much. From doing that Amtronic, I learned that painted uh, chrome looks so much better than chromed model chrome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the model chrome looks pretty cheesy and tacky. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's the term for it. It looks pretty cheesy, and you can't paint any weathering on top of it. Like if you want to scorch the top of the exhaust pipes and stuff like that. Well, keep this in mind. Uh, today, the Dragula. Tomorrow, the Kit. And then after Kit, it will be a General Lee. And after General Lee, it'll probably be like a 1950s uh, gasser, you know. Um, no, no, no offense to Dave, but I will never build a General Lee. <laughs> Good. I will, never, I will never ever build a General Lee. If there was a uh, Tecumseh Sherman, I might build it. Or if there was a uh, a, a uh, um, an Abraham Lincoln, I'm a, I, I'm a northerner by heart. I'm not going to build the General Lee. <laughs> Damn Yankee! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's just so. That's just. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. I don't know. It's a model. It's a car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to do with anything. <laughs> No, uh, All right. I, I, I won't. I won't build it. Uh, I, I was thinking, except for Liam is not here. I was thinking of building a Christine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I gave him that kit, and I, 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 I just felt Liam twitching all the way from London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was. I had high hopes for that build, and I what can't find problem? one now. What was the problem he had with that? Oh, he's being a perfectionist. Yeah? It, it, yeah. It's a very specific problem, I think. It was just about everything about the car just presented a problem. That way lies madness. Paint, oh, it's an AMT kit. Assembly. Well, this is, this, uh, Dracula is an AMT kit. The AMT yeah, well, AMT, AMT car suck. Yeah, AMT car suck. Um, I um, was thinking, though, if he was going to do it, if I was going to do something with a Christine, I would pull out a sound card so that I could have songs on the radio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yes, exactly. Uh, and that's how you build it. You build it, build it so there's light coming from the interior of the car, not the interior of the car, but the right, the, like a, a under a hood type of thing. And that, that would have been like really, really, really uh, awesome. But I'd have to get some still pictures. I, I That's the way I wanted to build that kit. And I thought anybody that can do a jo good job on that would have been Liam, but I guess not. Oh, Liam, we're just talking ill of we're you because you're not. Smack, eh? yeah, you're not Liam yeah. says hi from uh, the, uh, what the hell, what was it called? Bernie, what are you doing over there? Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a jigsaw. I got a, I got a. Yeah, I just rescued it from the from the garage. It's as rusty as anything. So before I can even start sawing, I've got to get and prepare my tools. If you'll pardon the expression, that's what they get. <laughs> All right, is that it there, Lou? That's enough for me for today. So, Lou, you and I are probably going to share a beer in less than three no, weeks. No, you get your own. Huh? You get your own. I'm not sharing a beer with you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Two straws? Come on! <laughs> oh, and then just 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 look into each other's eyes. Yes. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> uh, uh, I'm not going to it up. I, I, it's a share of beer. That's uh, you know. Hey, hey, okay, never mind. How you doing, Phil? <laughs> <All right. laughs> follow that, Phil. I dare you. <laughs> it's impossible to follow that. It's impossible. <laughs> I won't even try. In fact, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> uh, well, I've had a busy time with... Um, uh, went to a couple of shows. Um the one was at uh, Whittington Barracks in, um, oh, who was it? The Staffordshire um, Regiment Regimental Museum. Um, we we had a little, we had a couple of tables there for the club. It wasn't a model show per se. It was more of a regimental day. This was last Monday on the bank holiday, so uh, yeah, that that was warm. Um, but uh, I did a tiny bit more on the uh, change of subject. Did a tiny bit more on the the B one, uh, this one, and I put some storage on there, which I've posted on the on the community. I don't know if you can see it. I actually scratch built the jack. I was mm -hmm. going to scratch build two, and I realised I ain't going to get a second one exactly the same as the first one. So <laughs> I, I may I may still have a go at that. So there's a little bit more done on that. Um, I completed the. I don't think I've shown. I think I think this was after the last hangout. I completed the Zvezda um, Yag Yag Panther. Ah. Hmm. There's a bit bit of bit bright on it, but. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's. Does that have Zimmerit or? Uh, I put the Zimmerit on. Ah. I don't know if you can see it on there. Can you see it? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That was just. Um, I, th I think I showed the process last time, but I hadn't finished it. But I was just using this stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Mr. Dissolves, but at this scale, it's fine. But yeah, finished and finished and weathered up. Um, there's that one, and I also did um, this, which is the Stug Stug um, three, and I did a uh, tarpaulin for the back of that as well. Oh, you must be using a uh, magnifying glass to hit some of those pieces. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I use them. I use them. <laughs> I use them for general modeling anyway. So they're a bit pants now. So <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really love the Zvezda um 
one so much, I thought, well, if all of their 172 kits are like that. Uh, so I've, I've picked up a few. A <laughs> <laughs> few, few different ones. A few different ones. Um, <laughs> the Eurobot, the 100 scale Zvezda tanks or anything they got? No, I haven't. No, no. Um, I think it's probably uh, 70 seconds as small as I want to go with, with my eyes. Although, I've got 144 scale a um, uh, couple of MIGs. I think that's the Ooh. 21. So, I'm, I'm going to build, building up the bravery for, for having to go at those because they are tiny. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's really kind of it. Um, not not a massive amount. I, as I've completed some builds, but um, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, that cluster. So how that's long pretty much it. Phil, how long did it take you to build, scratch build Jack? Scratch build Jack. What? Our Jack or that Jack? <laughs> 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 that 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 little jack um it was uh, a few hours about, about about two two or three hours i mean um, i i do i mean it's the, hmm. i laminated some plastic card for the basis sorry yeah. sorry yeah anybody, Jamie. Anybody, anybody who can scratch me all that, i i take me hat off to because it's uh, it's 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 a great talent. I I just wing it. I, <laughs> I barely measured it, <laughs> which is probably why I'm going to have a real problem trying to get that that one. Um, the, the next one exactly <laughs> the same. Especially now I've glued the first one onto the model. <laughs> Didn't really plan ahead with that one. <laughs> Wait, well, a little slack oh, in my stuff. I thought I was going to do some. Uh, screen shares in between, um, but uh, the reason I haven't been doing them is because uh, my computer's fast, and I'm frozen now. Uh, there you go. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to bring up Ken from Ken's Model Shop. Um, he's been doing his flying saucer. Oh, it's Hanna. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I'm not geeky enough to know any better. So yeah, uh, who knows all about that one? Uh, yeah, look, it was yeah. a paper tiger thing that was on a design yeah. concept that the Germans had. It was more just a paper thing, but uh, he's done some great work resting a, a good result out of that kit. I love his chairs. Hmm. So clean, and he did. He had to do the same thing I did. He had to make a hole in the floor to make sense out of the fact that there's no way to get into the cabin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. that was hey, just, since it was supposed to be based on alien technology, they just sort of beamed in and out of the the, uh, the cabin. Yeah. Well, that's why I turned mine into a hydra once. I made it made it fictional anyway. Yeah. But I love his. I love his. Uh, his camouflage scheme there. Mm -hmm. I hate those wheels. Those damn wheels. <laughs> yes. uh, they make no sense. They Why are they wheels? Wheels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be able to maneuver on the ground. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> they don't spin. It's like you'd be screeching. I could cars. see it if the wheels rotated, or at least two of them rotated. It would yeah. make sense. They don't. Plus, they're too big for the bay. They, they won't fit inside the doors. Yeah. So, what are you trying to say about German engineering? I'd say it's no, it's no reason they lost the war. <laughs> <laughs> it's no surprise. It's no surprise if that's the best they can do. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, this is a paper thing. Yeah. Uh, so there's some um, guns, gun barrels. Right. Uh, a little quicker, quicker, quicker. 
Uh, right back. Oh, it, it's uh, purple now. If it was green uh, earlier, he's, he's got. He probably has one of those color changing bulbs with LEDs in there. Nice. Mm. Yeah, very clean inside there. Yeah. Where's the hole in the floor gone? What's that? Where's the hole in the floor gone? Well, in that picture, it's behind the tower. It's behind the lights. All right. It's a, it's yeah, it's up against the wall there. But you, there's just no. I love the way he did those rivets. Mm. Yeah. The fact that at one seventy second scale in that cockpit, if they were sitting in the chairs, they wouldn't reach the control. Point. No, you wouldn't reach. Yeah. The, you wouldn't be able to reach the controls <laughs> or see yeah. out the window. Yeah. You'd have to, start the, yeah. up to, uh, to reach the controls. Yeah, you have to stand up on top of the console to look out the windows. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so so wrong. Ergonomic, it is not. No. And the, uh, I think he's in the back behind the tower. You can see the outline of the doors. Well, yeah. it's only one thickness of hull. So if you open those up, you're outside. There's no outside door. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, you have you go up through the landing the landing gear. There's a ramp to go up that goes nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I must admit, I, I did follow your build, Lou, and I thought you you did make the best of it with the um, getting the uh, the hole in the floor and the lighting and the you have to well, uh, re that, reconfiguration yeah. of the seating and that. I don't see any propulsion to this. Well, it's the uh, the, uh, the uh, um, um, it's a flying saucer. Yeah, it spins, and therefore it flies. Huh. Oh, okay. it's electro gravitational. There you go. It's dry. It, it flies on anger and hate. Totally derived <laughs> off of <laughs> off of research from the uh, was it the Grom and Bell? I think it was called that they did work on. But uh, yeah, no, he's done very fine work with it. It's definitely it's definitely a silk purse out, out of a sow's ear, though. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, Ken uh, very much appreciates the compliments uh, on. Uh, it's he says there's a large kit for being a seventy-two scale. So it's a big yeah, it's a it's a big subject. Yeah. All right. Uh, the camera looks good. Great. I love the patterning. That's uh, Carwin. So, yeah. Uh, so now that I got everybody talked about and got a nice, great, you know, build to share. And now we got to top it off with Randall. <laughs> oh, boy. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've not been busy the last uh, better part of this. Been, You've been uh, traveling. traveling. We were there everywhere. Uh, went to the Perth show, IPMS uh, Scotland in Perth. Uh, if, if Heath is listening, that's the original Perth, not the one in Australia. Uh, <laughs> Where is he, by the way? He wasn't stopped he was in, but he disappeared. For a few seconds, and he went away again. Um, yeah. His name three times. Then I went to the, the, the next weekend, another weekend, another model show, the uh, Irish Model Soldier Society in Dublin, which uh, I entered uh, three models and uh, was vaguely surprised to get a, a bronze for what for one of them. Oddly enough, it was the one I least expected to get anything for. Always the one. <laughs> there you go. Always the one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, practically no modeling in, in, the, in, in three of those four weeks. But I've made up for it yeah. a little bit. I've um, been working on this. Little beauty, yeah. Thing here, this U-boat. Um Nice, nice and clean on that side. Uh, paint work. I'll show but, it the other side. 
started the weather. Sure not to hit yourself on the head now. Hey. Ah, look at that. Oh yeah. yeah. That's that's before I've I've got back at it with uh, the uh, with the mineral spirits. It's just a, an enamel wash so far. And, uh, yeah, you say you hadn't done any modeling for four weeks. Hey? Say you hadn't done any modeling for four weeks. No. Well, three out of the four weeks. Well, I've made it up for it in the last week since I came back. Well, I think you ought to stand in the corner and hold your head in shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done some. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> that's the, the the nautical. I was going to say the not naughty, uh, but that's the nautical uh, part of it. The naval uh, part of the uh, of the uh, the group build. Uh, the real space one, and uh, <laughs> just maybe left it. It's the other clip satellite. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All this to hold the the, do- the docking assembly on the. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say it's an unusual sensor arrangement. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, bit, that, that's going to be scary coming at you know coming at you from deep space. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, the uh, dragon kits you you got to love them. No, I, you don't. No, you really don't. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I, I feel your pain, Lou, with with these things. Uh, they supply parts that only look vaguely like the uh, the bits that come in the instructions. <laughs> and, uh, it's just the it's just the I weep for the potential. Yeah, that's what I say. You know, they they have this great idea of all these model uh, real space subjects all to the one scale, and they do some fantastic details in them, mm-hmm. and then they just totally screw it up. Either with the plans, with uh, the lack of painting guide, or uh, tons of it was, it half was, of it and not, none for the other. It was clear from the instructions on the Saturn V that the lunar module was not the same lunar module that was included in the kit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You may notice there's a slight misalignment between the structures. So you you can get the struts to fit, uh huh, the the craft, but not the not the uh, the docking paddles, or you can get the, the struts to align with the docking paddles and not the craft. Right. So, uh, <laughs> I, I struggled a bit, but I, I got there. There's uh, got to be a slight uh, irregularity on the. I, I can gain some solace from the fact that the guy they got to build the model for the pictures on the box couldn't do it either. <laughs> well, that's how that's how it's supposed to be then. <laughs> but Flary, I can't. Yeah, I love it when they show pictures of the actual thing on the box that yeah. has nothing to do with the model. Yeah. <laughs> well, this time it does have something to do with the model, like, but yeah. um, but uh, it's it's nice to know that even their model builders couldn't build the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was. It, it, it worked a lot better on the um, the docking module, but right. uh, it all went together more or less. Just needed a wee bit of brute force and ignorance to force the struts into uh, into position. But it got there, and uh, now for the first time ever, live. Oh, he's gonna dock him! Ooh, oh, mm-hmm. careful, careful! Yep. Oh. Uh. I need a cigarette now. <laughs> the alignment may not be perfect, but it's, it's there. <laughs> Have you got a substantial metal rod to go all the way through the middle? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what I'm going to do is that, uh, skewer. just line them up on a shish kebab skewer. <laughs> Yeah, if you stand it on the end, it looks like a, one of them bongs. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken the, the stand that comes with it and more or less straightened wow. it. The, uh, this curved rather more, you know, sharply this way. Oh, yeah, you were worried about the weight of the uh, of the Soyuz module yeah. on that. 
just straighten up the stand so the whole thing's going more or less vertical and then uh, when, when the time comes i'm just going to fill this with uh, fishing weights yeah well uh, you know you'd have to actually work hard at you know to topple it yeah um you know no problem they are cat like but there you go <laughs> uh that's it what else yeah um Back to the U boat of uh, built the uh, 80, 88 millimeter gun that went in the deck. Ah. Uh. What is that again, Randall? It, 88 millimeter. It's, yeah. it, it sounds to me like you're saying an idiot millimeter. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, idiot millimeter. Yeah. It's an idiot. Okay, it's the idiot gun. Idiot millimeter. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they they put a, a bone in the end of the barrel, and then uh, kept it attached to the gun with uh, this this rope that was wrapped around the barrel. Yeah, well, it had seals on the breech, so that they, when yeah. they closed the breech, it was watertight, keep uh -huh. water out of it. Yep, and then uh, they did the same the, the, at the barrel end too. Yeah, they had the cork, the big pop gun. Yep. Okay. Actually, all the naval guns had that. It makes sense, even yeah. on the battleships to keep yeah. the, the so spray water out of the barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your powder so, dry. Still stalled on my wee falcon. Ah, that yes. They're so cute when they're small, aren't they? Just <laughs> you wait till they grow up. Yeah. Oh, I know that. <laughs> they cause. Like breaking step, death stars and things like that. You know? <laughs> Has anybody seen, somebody posted? Uh, I think it was. Well, it was on Google Plus. I remember that, but I don't. I don't know if it was on the Google Plus community. But somebody posted a um, studio release video of the actor who's playing Orlando Carizian to take you on a tour of the that. Millennium Falcon. Mm, it's like not, yeah. I want to live there. It was it was actually very posh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it was very nice. Now I want to build that in complete interior. And, uh, and look what Han did it did to it over over the years. He owned it. I mean, Lando had a had a special room just for his capes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah that Han got, got a hold of it. Yeah. Nice trained. Yeah. Well, he turned it into a smuggling <laughs> ship instead of a luxury vehicle. <laughs> well, you gotta smuggle capes too, you know, because yeah. how else would Dorf I'll bet you get there's his own? a disco ball in there somewhere. <laughs> there oh, you go. <laughs> and a lava lamp. Yes, and your lava lamp, Jack. When I was at the Scottish show, I, I uh, picked up. Uh, oh, 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 nice. oh, oh, I would love one of those. Mm. What's the scale on it? Doesn't actually give a scale, but um, is it box scale then? It's somewhere between scale. seventy second scale and forty eight scale. Nice. <laughs> and uh, typical of the Japanese kits of the time, you actually get this miniature trans <laughs> or tiny <laughs> car. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> In case you want to know which direction the cars are supposed to go, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't put any cockpit seal inside it, but they made sure that they put in the cargo for it. Mm -hmm. Way out of steel cargo, I hate to hasten to add. Yeah, I just don't recall any wheels being on it. Yeah, and then uh, mm -hmm. parts are quite chunky, to say the least. Ah. Oh. Beauty. Because that uh, was launched from the sub, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the front end of the sub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now you got to build the rest of the sub to go with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's Fiber part. laughs> this is the, the, the wings and things. Uh, I love the fact that it said skydiver on it so that you could tell what part was supposed to do what. Yeah. <laughs> like, this part goes in the sky. This part goes in the water. You round off the sprue, kind. Lou, you can always send him your rocket. You can stick it on the end of that. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like the little cars. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and these were supposed to be uh, rocket tubes, you know, multiple rocket tubes. But uh, on this kit, the uh, if you build it right, it actually fires the whole assembly. Nice. As a missile. That's not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to substitute the noses and worries for for that, these things, which I pinched off a, a 32 scale uh, aircraft. Yeah. Which is slightly better detailed. And I wish there's, um, this was a MI that built the, or produced this kit at first, but then Aoshima bought the molds and then they produced a uh, more accurate nose for it because the, the nose that comes with this kit's actually too large. It's Big kinda, nose. Mm. It has this weird cross hatch thing going on in here where it should be a, a grid. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you hang on a second. What are you calling Big Nose? Yeah, Ken from Ken's Model Shop says he posted the video of the Falcon. So it, it was on uh, on the communities. So, mm -hmm. well, this is. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It all makes sense now. Yep. And yeah, there you go. That's what you're building. That's what you. That's what you've got with the kit. No, you have got cars. <laughs> yeah. And and landing wheels and things like that. That's gonna be a fun build. Mm. It's gonna be Is fun. That the uh, the prize. Gonna to, we're gonna have to pinch a cockpit from a forty-eight skill uh, fighter. It'd be good if they did the other end of that kit. That size. Hmm. That's the difference between the two. God, yeah. I think that was the, the other the other part of the ship would be massive, wouldn't it? Hmm. Uh, So, working out the scale, I think the scale of this is 144. So, I think this actually comes out close to 72 scale ish. Maybe quite a big ish. ish. But, yeah, emphasis on the ish. Yeah. But uh, at least the at least the little die cast is a lot more accurate. So, we can actually work off that work for some of the details for the bigger kit. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. It's usually the other way around. Ooh, that's uh, that's me. That's you. In a nutshell. All right. Well, put me to work. <laughs> uh, it's, oh, hell. It just went away. Uh, going to the Facebook community screen share uh, to keep in theme with real space because of our community builds. Uh, I did click on it. My computer is very wrapped, working very quickly right now. Uh, so, my little Brett, uh, Brett Harper and his spacewalking astronaut. That's the old Ravel kit of uh, Ed White doing his, his first U.S. spacewalk. Yeah. And uh, it needs a lot of work to, get, to, have, to have got it that good. He has done a lot of work to it. Especially around the uh, maneuvering pistol that uh, the white ha had there, thing in his right hand. Mm -hmm. so essentially, two nitrogen cylinders, which he used to squirt gas out of the uh, the, the, the two nozzles on the, the yeah. Two, yeah. Years before Wally did the same thing with a fire extinguisher. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is it me, or is there something wrong with the scale of the head place? No. Uh, it was a fairly compact suit. Yeah, the, the Gemini suit was based pretty much on the, the suit that they wore for the, uh, the X-15 flights, uh, the SR-71. The color of it to the rest of the suit. So you're, you're, you're saying it's uh, tight enough to get a wedgie. Can you imagine pulling that out of your ass? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Space, no one can hear you, Wedgie. <laughs> I, I, 
I, I, you had to hand it to the, the Gemini astronauts, especially in the later missions where they spent 14 days sitting in one of those suits. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, if that had been a dragon kit, there'd have been two left legs, no right <laughs> hand, and the helmet would have been backwards. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, well, funny enough, Dragon do the, uh, the, the little uh, Gemini spacecraft with Ed White doing his, his walk from it, mm. which, which I have back there somewhere. Okay. All right. Uh, back to moi. Uh, so, okay. Uh, Earl, before coming on, on the show, I was just saying, um, when you got a big project done and uh, you're saying, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here in front of my Falcon thinking, I got to nitpick some more. <laughs> um, I, I got, uh, I think I got, I got two shipments from uh, Skill Hobbyist for Vallejo. And I'm, got here the pigments i got here a uh carbon black pigment and i have here a rust oxide pigment and i have a natural iron oxide pigment gotta admit i haven't opened these up yet yeah because you gotta do some uh, weathering yeah, uh, I thought exactly right. I thought they'll be using these for weathering and uh, and the like. Uh, so I'm going to experiment with these. And I also got it as well um, the matte finish. And I brushed it on on a part of the Falcon because that spray can come in. What it does is is that I put future floor wax on it. And the reason I put the future high gloss, that stuff is ridiculously glossy. The reason to do that is to seal the decals, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And you can even weather on it, and it makes the weathering look a more authentic, right? Mm -hmm. I don't but weather on the future, no. But when you spray this aerosol thing that I got from, it's a matte, uh, it's almost like a fixative type, type of stuff, but it's not. I, I have it downstairs in the basement. It stinks to high heaven, and it make it make that falcon had an odor for like a week. Um, it took that long for it to cure. Uh, but what it ended up doing was melting the uh, future floor wax and mixing it itself together, and it's still kind of glossy. So I guess the water base matte finish from Vallejo is going to be the way to go. So I, I, eventually I'm going to be nitpick at that and and spray it down with with the Vallejo matte finish because it's water. But that's not that's what not what I'm really talking about here. Um, the base I'm going to pick up your my camera here is right there that I built for it. Mm -hmm. There's two, you can see the two switches and the like. There's a problem. The thing spins on it. The, mm -hmm. it, the Falcon spins on it. I haven't figured yeah. out how to keep it from spinning. So I thought, well, let's let's just go back to the um, the original stand. So I um, was spray painted the original stand. And that decal placard had details about the Millennium Falcon, which crinkled up and fell off and not happy with it. But certainly I did it in a way that I could take it off and put it on a tabletop mm -hmm. like that. You know what you could uh, do? Think, you could put wings on that uh, at the top of the, the tube. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's true. I, I could do that. But I actually kind of like this because... Um, my my Matt, my partner, said that box is too big. It overtakes the kit. And he came in this morning, and I said, I'm going to show this off. And I said, I'm just use it out of the kit. He said, well, I like that. That's smaller. <laughs> now he's got a point there. Uh, and I have, I have, like, these felt pads. Well, you can't see it. I have these felt pads on the other side. That's why it looks like it's floating off the tabletop. Um, so I got felt pads on there, and on the back side of this, I'll just get some. Well, it also shows it off at a jaunty angle too. Yeah, yeah. 
and I built up the back end because uh, there was a there was a cavity, and they're like in the front. Let's see if I can get some more light under there. I don't want to pick it up with one hand. No. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was able to box in the back seat. It only goes back as far as that where that leg comes out because it goes all across in the inside. So I boxed it off and I got my switch and my cord. And the best part about it is I couldn't get this to work on the one that I did on the box uh, stand that I made. Because the box has an LED in it, and it's only a little pinpoint, and it didn't come on. And I wired it incorrectly, but I wired this one correctly. Of course, come on. There we go. So, on. Off. I got this kind of. I got all kinds of switches now. So. There she is. Yeah, you did a good job on that, Jack. Mm -hmm. You know what? For a uh, kit stand, this isn't too bad. No, it's all right. This isn't too bad. No, that Japanese might be onto something. Yeah, and I, I even uh, underneath there, I put little felt pads on it so it doesn't scratch the paint. I just put a, I cut the, the, you got these little dots for felt pads. In fact, you can probably see it uh, right there. Uh, and I cut a little strip out of it and then put it on the rail. Uh, so when the model rests on top of it, it doesn't scratch the paint or anything. So that's what I did last weekend was modify this, put this together. And I have to admit, I'm very pleased with, with this particular stand. Uh, and the fact that it even has a little placard uh, with the name on it. Yeah. And so there, there it is. That pit. I actually like, you know what? I was thinking of not even gluing the, the canopy over the cockpit, uh, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. It, it gives it a feeling of scale and that somebody actually can live in there type of thing. Um, so that's uh, my Falcon uh, and the new stand that I had built for it, but I'm actually not built for it, but modified it. And uh, that's what I did last weekend was do that because I was anticipating getting um, this in with my Vallejo order. You know what this is, ultra thin. This is for my Voyager build, uh, my space probe Voyager build for real space. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started putting it together. I, I think it was Thursday night. I gave uh, Jim a ring and we talked for a few minutes. And I said, you know what? I'm putting this thing together and there's fingerprints all over it. It's not my hands. There's so much release on this. So it's downstairs. So <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, and the degreaser. So after after broadcast, I'm gonna go down and rinse it off and get it air dried so I can continue. I already started building it. Uh, I hope that well, this melts this this glue that I use this ultra thin is probably cured. It cured for over 24 hours before submerging it into the. Uh, uh, hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> I'm not going to paint that. There's only going to be a few parts that are going to be painted because I also was waiting for this. This is something every time I, you know, put in a request for a um, Vallejo paints, I got all kinds of metal. <laughs> I never got this. <clears throat> yes. I never got copper. No I have copper. it in. I have it in enamel paints, but I I don't. I'm not set up to use enamels. And on like a motorcycle build that I did, I, I used the eight, and I'm like, I hate it. So I bought actually two coppers. Uh, one is the model color. The other is the air, mm -hmm. Leo Air. So I, I'm now complete with the metal. I got the aluminum. I got steel. 
I got silver, I got gun metal, I, I got a lot of, and the Vallejo, um, the metal paints are really good. I really like it. Mm -hmm. uh, they work very well. And I also got a set of transparent colors, uh, the primary colors, and two secondary colors, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I got clear colors too. So if I have any clear parts that I want to, or even do a, use them for a wash, I can probably do that too. Um, so, yeah, I got uh, some things together anyway. I'm doing my Voyager build. I was just saying to Jim a couple of days ago, I got a lot of kits here that I started, like the uh, Pegasus kit, the Mercury 9 rocket. Mm. I got, I was said, oh, now I got the glue. I can actually use this. He says, no, nope, you can't use it. I got to use ABS glue. And I'm like, well, this does ABS. He says, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do ABS. And his usual excitable gym way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh now i'm all bummed out i'm not gonna buy more glue uh, but no there is there is something though um here that i want to i think home depot doesn't have the thick ca gorilla glue this, anymore. this stuff for for abs jack Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We we talked about that too, but they'll last me forever and ever. I yeah. just I, I'm probably gonna buy 10x or something like that. But um, they don't they don't do this. this is a gel. This is a gel. They don't sell that anymore at Home Depot. They just don't. They have the gel. Yeah, I Lock use tight. more of the gel than I have used the thinner stuff. Yeah. In fact, I can't even open the thinner stuff because I glued it shut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Loctite makes a gel. Um, I there's this there's this thing. Has anybody seen this? Gorilla glue. Like, uh, mm -hmm. it's too fuzzy. I can't make Burger it up. Well, yeah, I can't see it now. All right, I'm gonna do it this way. There's just too much light. Hmm. I could get a bonus uh, CA glue. Oh, uh, yeah. But oh. this says it. Uh, just a clear glue. Wood, stone, metal, ceramic, foam, glass, and more. It's probably just like the clear it's probably just like the Aline's clear tacky. Yeah. What's It's probably just a PVA. What's the list there on the side? I'm trying to think of what more is there. You're kind of... It says wood, stone, metal, plastic, and more. Like, okay. No, ceramic, foam, ceramic. glass. Only thing more is flesh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. I just picked this up, and, and, and uh, well, I should uh, <laughs> give us a you know, give us product review of it, Jack. Yeah, there you go. Uh, because if it works in, in scale modeling, it'll work uh, in scale modeling, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are those are things I'm dealing with. Uh, also, you know, the whole concept of having a new kitchen. We're going to have contractors do it. We're not. We're going to do some work, but we're not going to do all of it. I, I said to Matt, I am. I can't do it anymore. Um, not in my condition. But anyway, uh, I want to do the uh, corner desk to so that I have some. So I can have many projects. Going. I've got an electronic station. I can have a little build station. I can have a big yeah. build station uh, so that I, I don't have to, like, really put – shift things away. Because <laughs> as Jim knows, I'm highly organized, and I lose parts all the time. <laughs> so um, I'm actually considering uh, when I move things around that IKEA cubicle thing there um, – I'm going to make an insert that will contain my little drawers that I have here. Mm -hmm. And I find this size perfect for me 
and I can get a whole cabinet for like six, like 64 these little drawers and just make something that would uh, hold them instead of what they sell you. At, yeah. Like, like those, those things. I had bought several of these, which I use for projects, and then I keep all the parts related to that project in this box. Mm. So they're all separated and easy to get at. Don't lose them. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking something like that too, but I can't seem to fit uh, things into those cubicles because those cubicles are like 13 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter. And I was even considering uh, taking out uh, like, oh, let's see, where's my finger? <laughs> it's a yeah. Yeah. But if you get the, uh, 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 like the fishing tackle, out. if you get like the fishing tackle box, uh -huh. They're fully adjustable inside. Mm. You can get these yeah. fishing tackle boxes, and the uh, they have different width, different width of rows, and they just have dividers that you can put in at whatever length you want. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Jack. Yeah. We lost. Yeah. We lost Jamie. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. he's done it again. Uh, oh my God! Look at that! I thought I thought you just left left. No, 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 no! no. He's left this world look, look for a few minutes. Uh, yeah. He's counting sheep. <laughs> <laughs> he's checking for holes in his eyelids. Uh, I was thinking maybe taking like these out right here. Uh -huh. He's gonna lay on its side and yeah. have this like well open, and then have the compartments down at the bottom with these little drawers in it, little compartments in it. Uh, I do want to kind of move that o away from um, my that my workspace because it's just I don't know it just it feels a little more restrictive maybe I'll feel better so uh, Jamie oh gosh Jamie mm -hmm. <laughs> hello Jamie <laughs> a bad reputation for this, but yeah. you know what? He could be, he could have like passed out from a heart attack or something. I <laughs> 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 <He> still breathe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really it. That's all I have uh, to to share. Uh, so things are moving along here, and I'm pretty pleased now that I'm out of the woods. And into the, uh, I'm really looking forward to now Wonderfest. Now that's two, three, th three weeks away. Uh, so bring your straw up there, uh, Lou. And, save uh, your shekels. <laughs> save your shekels. Well, you know, I, I got a, a pleasant little surprise uh, just yesterday. Uh, my uh, tax return came back yesterday, and I guess they didn't need that W-2. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the W two said like fifty six bucks. It was like nothing. Um, yeah. So even if you earned uh, something off to the side, that's probably how they're considering it. Um, but long and short of it, I got it uh, back. So I got to do my banking today. I got to go to the dentist today, and you know, and mom is tomorrow. So there's not going to be much doing in the next couple yeah. of days for me. But I will be here tomorrow uh, for the Sunday hangout. Uh, that's not canceled because of mom. In fact, it's probably on because of mom. <laughs> um, that's going to be at uh, 7 p.m. my time Eastern. What's with this camera? Moving it around like that. So uh, we'll be here tomorrow. In a couple of weeks, we'll be here for again another across the pond that is actually going to be the week before uh wonderfest so wonderfest actually i didn't plan it this way i don't think i did uh falls in between uh the weeks uh that we do th this talk show yeah. so uh no interruption there as uh, we'll be there I, i'm still lost of words right now i don't know i'm just really sleepy uh so we'll be here tomorrow for a uh, for Sunday hangout. We'll figure something else to talk about, something more specific to the hobby, uh, maybe paint, glue, uh, soldering, like we've been doing. Uh, we did things on wood builds, of electronics. Uh, last time we did what, Jim? I totally forgot. 
Oh. Not Actually, last it, week it turned. Last day it turned into a free for all. We it really was could. a pretty free for all because it was basically the two of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last Sunday. Uh, so yeah, please join us <laughs> on <laughs> Sunday nights too. Uh, with the weather getting better in all parts of the world except for here, where Jim and I live. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can understand you don't want to be in. Uh, you want to be outside, but certainly uh, we'll be here. Uh, and talking about stuff. So a couple weeks again, uh, happy modeling everyone until then stay well, be good to each other and good day. Have a good day. Bye. -bye. Good.